stories making headlines in entertainment news this afternoon. Let's bring our Andrea Williams with more. Hey there, Julia. Renowned author Salman Rushdie was attacked on stage in New York. Police are reporting 75 year old Rushdie was stabbed in his neck and was airlifted to a local hospital. The person responsible is now in police custody. Rushdie's book, the Satanic Verses has been banned in Iran since 1988 as Muslims consider it to be insulting. Late Iranian leader Ayatollah Khomeini, he called for Rusty's death and has offered a $3 million reward for whoever kills the author. And the family of Anne Heche released a statement today announcing they lost a bright light. Heche was declared legally dead according to California law. However, she has not been taken off life support so that the organization One Legacy can see if she is a match for organ donation. Last Friday, Heche was traveling in a car at high speed when it ran off the road and collided with the house before erupting in flames. Police said Thursday they were investigating the incident as a felony DUI case. And we recently told you actor and comedian Keenan Thompson was chosen as the host of the upcoming Emmy Awards, by the way, which will air here on NBC, but he now has his own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Thompson has been in show business for three decades. He started on Nickelodeon. We remember that eventually growing his comedy career onto Saturday Night Live. He is the show's longest running cast member with 19 seasons under his belt. It's heavy. I'll say that like it is really heartfelt and emotional. Like there's a lot of people that I really care deeply about and then, you know, I can feel that they care deeply about me. You know what I mean? And that's a, that's a special thing. A really big deal and Oscar winner Diane Keaton has already cemented her place as a successful actress, producer and director, but she took it a step further in Hollywood where she left her mark at the TCL Chinese Theater. Keaton left her hand and footprints in cement at the theater's courtyard where dozens of Hollywood stars have done the same. Keaton is probably best known for her roles in Annie Hall and then one of my favorites, The First Wives Club. And that is going to do it for entertainment news today. Julia, uh, we'll get back to you. All right, and Andrea, while you're here, you have a story you're working for us on later in the show. Yeah, I would like to tell you about that. Vibin Health is a nationally recognized leader in the fight against HIV AIDS. And coming up at around 440, I'm going to tell you how they're expanding their services to those living right here in our community. Wow, okay, looking forward to that, Andrea. Thank you so much.